you can effectively use the Koji Sun Soap even as a dark skin person without bleaching your skin, you know, getting discoloration, dark knuckles, irritating your skin or ruining your skin. So in this video, I'll be showing how you as a dark skinned person can properly incorporate the Koji Sun Soap into your skincare routine in order to help get rid of hyperpigmentation, dark spots and even out your skin tone. Now, I recently made a video on the Koji Sun Soap. I'll have it linked in this video where I talked about the Koji Sun soap and how to properly use it. Now I got lots and lots of comments on that video, people saying that it ruined their skin or that it's not working for them. So I decided to make this video, especially for dark skin, you know, to talk about some things that we should keep in mind when we want to use Koji Sun soap, right? And how to properly incorporate it into our skincare routine as a dark skinned person. Does this sound like something you're interested in? Then keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into it. Before we get into this video, there are five important things you need to know before getting into using the Koji Sun soap. Number one is if you want to get into using Koji Sun soap, you need to get your hands on the original. If you're not sure that you're getting the original, then do not use it at all because there are so many fakes of this soap out there. There are even more fakes than the original one itself. Now, unfortunately, the manufacturers of the fake Koji Sun soap have done a really good job at copying the original one that it's sometimes so difficult to tell them apart. In my previous video, I gave some tips on how to tell the fake from the original one but these days it can be really confusing but i have some three tips on how i'm able to tell the fake from the original one because trust me i've been there i've gotten a lot of fakes in the past and i've gotten original ones as well so these are the three tips that has helped me to point out the fake ones number one is that distinctive citrusy orangey smell that the original Koji Sand Soap has. If you're someone that has ever used the original Koji Sand Soap, you know that it has a distinctive citrusy smell, which I feel like the fake doesn't have. And trust me, I have come across a lot of the fake ones, so I would know. So the fake one, it sort of smells similar but not exactly if you've used the original one you would know this so this is one way you're able to tell the fake from the original secondly you can tell the fake from the original by the effectiveness of the soap trust me the koji san soap works when i see a lot of comments telling me that oh it's not working for me i tell them you probably have the fake one because there's no way this soap is not going to work for you right it might take a little bit more time to work for you but you will definitely see the effects with koji sand soap you have to be patient it takes at least two to three weeks to start seeing significant results so there's definitely no way that this is not going to work for you unless you have the fake so that's how you'll be able to tell if you're using the fake or if you're using the original one. Lastly, another way you'll be able to tell the fake from the original is by that instant tingling sensation you get by using the original Koji Sand Soap. If you've ever used the original Koji Sand Soap, you probably know what I mean. It is very potent, it's a very potent soap and you get that instant singling um, effect as you use it. Again, it might differ from skin to skin. Some people might start noticing that difference after like multiple um, use of the soap, but you definitely notice the tingling effect. That's how you know you're using the original Koji Sand soap. So keep these in mind as you try to shop for the original soap. Now, the second important thing to keep in mind when you want to use the Koji Sun soap is that the Koji Sun soap isn't meant to be used as an everyday soap, rather as a treatment soap. While people with lighter skin can get away with using this soap, although it's not advised, we as dark skin people, we cannot. But we can greatly benefit from this soap by just using it as a treatment soap. Koji Sun soap, as we all know, contains kojic acid, which is one of its key ingredients. And kojic acid is basically a skin lightener. It helps to address uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. And now with this in mind, you can imagine if you, as a dark skin person, you're using this every single day, like your normal soap imagine the effect you get on your skin you're definitely going to get some form of discoloration dark knuckles and things like that because again it is a lightning soap now this brings me to my third point which is you shouldn't be using the koji tan soap every single day regardless of your skin tone now whether you're light or dark Koji Sand Soap should not be something that you use on a daily basis because of how potent it is. I would advise you use at most, especially if you're someone that's dark in complexion, you use at most 
two times in a week. Have in mind that this soap isn't just a brightening or lightening soap, it is also an exfoliating soap. Now imagine yourself exfoliating your skin every single day, you might run the risk of thinning out your skin, which would ultimately lead to skin damage. Now, the fourth important point is that this soap is not a face soap. I do not care what your skin tone is. I do not care what your skin type is. This soap is not meant to be used as a face soap. Now, while some people might get away with it for a while, I've seen a lot of people on um, TikTok and they use it as their face soap. Trust me, the repercussions in future will be very, very great. However, while you can't use this soap as a face soap, you can use it to treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots on your face. I'm going to be explaining that and showing you guys how to do that further in this video. My last point is that the Koji San soap is not a forever soap. Now, like I said before, this soap is meant to be used as a treatment soap. And what that means is that once you've treated your skin of any issues that you might have with this soap, you stop using. You're not meant to keep using. Even if it's working so well for your skin, it is not meant to be used for a long period of time. Now, long-term use or continuous use of the Koji San soap can be very damaging to your skin. I know of people who use the Koji San soap for a period of time and then they take a break for, from it for a period of time, say for like few months, just to let their skin recover and then they go back to using it. That is the way you should use Koji San soap. And also, if you're someone that you're trying to treat a particular skin issue, and after treating it if it's good you stop using it now that that is out of the way I am going to be showing you guys how you can incorporate the Koji San soap into your skincare routine as a dark skin person in order to treat hyperpigmentation dark spots and even out your skin let us start with the face if you're someone that's suffering from dark spots hyperpigmentation on even skin tone on your face you can definitely use the Koji San soap to treat that now how do you use you would need a q-tip or you can use your fingers wet your your fingers or the q-tip i would advise to use a q-tip because it is more precise so you don't end up getting the soap on places that you don't need to so wet your q-tip dip that into the soap and apply directly on any part of your face where you have um, dark spots and things like that and it also works for active acne so if you want to spot treat your active acne you could also do that ensure you're not using it all over your face while you're done Wait for about 20 to 30 seconds. Guys, do not exceed 20 to 30 seconds. And immediately after your 20 or 30 seconds is up, you rinse your face. Now, to further make sure that you don't have any residue of the soap on your face, as that might likely be the case, you want to go ahead and rinse off your face using your normal face wash. This just ensures that the soap is completely off of your face and not trapped in your skin and working over time. And that could lead to skin irritation immediately after doing that you want to go ahead and moisturize your skin with a very good moisturizer as the Koji San soap can be very very drying you want to ensure that whichever face product you're using does not contain active ingredients now you want to use mild and soothing product on days where you plan on using your chemical exfoliant or your tretinoin or retinoin do not use the Koji San soap but this process should be done at night only once in a day two times in a week at most and ensure you're wearing sunscreen during the day sunscreen is a must as koji san soap increases your skin's sensitivity to the sun so keep that in mind you can also use the koji san soap on other parts of your body where you have hyperpigmentation like your elbows knees underarms and even your inner thighs but you have to be really cautious when you're using it for your inner thighs because you know it's very sensitive down there so make sure you're not going up there to your lady and just keep it down there leave it for a little while and rinse the skin on your body can tolerate the potency of the soap more than your face so you can leave the soap on for about three to five minutes and then you rinse off and i like to do this before taking my shower so then i can go in with my body wash and just wash it off so none of that residue is left on my skin and for your body you can do this up to three times in a week do not exceed three times in a week for the first one or two weeks depending on you know how fast it works for you and depending on how severe the hyperpigmentation is after one to two weeks you reduce usage to two times in a week also moisturization is key when using the koji san soap because like i said it is very drying so ensure you go in and moisturize your skin very well 
And I do want to say, as a dark-skinned person, you might run the risk of getting the soap runoff between your fingers, which could like lighten your fingers, and you don't want that, and that could give you dark knuckles. So I would advise to protect your hands using a disposable glove. I found that while using this soap, because I have a video where I use this soap for a week under my arms, I was using it every day, I was just experimenting, you're not supposed to use it every day. So I was using it every day, and I found that my hands, like in between my hands, were looking lighter and even though i was rinsing it off right after like applying it it was looking lighter that's to show you how potent this soap is so i would advise protect your hands with gloves okay especially as a dark skinned person and finally know when to take a break from the koji sand soap once you get the result you want you can stop using or just take a break when you feel like your skin needs a break take a break let your skin recover before you get back to using it like i said this soap is not a forever soap be very cautious when you're using it because if you do not use it properly you might run the risk of damaging your skin so that's it for this video i hope it was helpful if it is do not forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions as well leave them and i'll be sure to reply your questions thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye